how to design a custom all over printed um, rest in peace shirt today. So I got my template already and let's get it. So first you go to Safari or any Google shirt search and type in, uh, let's say, heaven wallpaper or background. You see this one? My computer used the drag and drop. So I grab this, bring it over to the to the template, and I stretch it out. Hold shift when you stretch it out too, so it can everything will stay in its proportion. Here you go to your layers. And bring, I'm gonna bring a t-shirt layer back to the top. Right now, let's go to type in Dove PNG. And the PNG means that it's got a transparent, transparent background. Voila. So you drag and drop that to your Photoshop. Bring that over to the shirt. Make it the correct size. I'm gonna reverse this by going to edit. Go down to transform. Then I go to flip horizontal. And then it switch it to the other, other way. Now let's go to your text over here, which is the T. Click on that. Find like a beautiful font. And let's say grandma. Check that. Go back to your move tool and hold shift and stretch that out. Check at the top. Now I'm gonna double click on this grandma layer over here to my right hand side, add an outer glow. That makes it kind of like pop off. You can play with the size of the spread. Now I'm gonna change the grandma to the same color blue as in the shirt. Okay. Anybody know the Photoshop, um, and if you're new to it, Anytime you go over here to your layers and you double click on them, it gives you different options. So now let's go find some prayer hands. So you go to images. So we got praying hands. black and white yeah I can drop grab this and bring it over to the layer that I'm working on boom so we'll put that here and then you hit the check and now you want to get click on this grandma and you want to drag this grandma layer to your right hand side on top of everything so now that brings it in the front. Now, let's type in Angel Wings PNG. Find some good wings. Uh, and then for the person, I'm just gonna find the old lady or something on Google just to give you guys a um, reference of how just to add a picture. So let's get some good wings. Right here. These are like one of my favorites. Hope they're clear. Okay, drag and drop. 
Photoshop. I'm using a Mac also. So if, if you don't have a Mac, you could just uh, save it to your desktop or to a folder that you can go back and relate to and you could just grab it. So now you've got the wings. So to make it fair, I don't want to just grab any grandma. Let's do change this font to Legend. All right, so we're going to find a picture of Michael Jackson. And we're going to type in PNG. And PNGs come in handy. So let's get a good picture of Michael Jackson so we get that on here. So let's say this one. Good clarity. See this one. Okay, we're gonna grab this one, drag and drop, or save to a folder. Let me get rid of some of these old layers that I don't need anymore. It's all different ways how to bring your pictures over and get them to your workspace. So now we got MJ. Bring him right here. Now you see he's over the legend, so click on legend. Bring that to the front. Click on the wings. Take them to the back. That's just how I design. It's like 50,000 different ways to design in Photoshop. And I'm going to break down the way I do it to you guys in multiple videos just so you can get a a clear way how to make a, a shirt or a hat or anything. Just designing period. Okay. Let me get the right spelling of Michael Jackson. M-I-C-H-A-E-L. I'm gonna get a bold font for this. Y'all gonna like this right here. M I C H A E L. So we check, go grab your move tool, stretch this all the way out. Check it, move it into position. And I'm gonna change this white. Nope, let me change it back to the blue. Check, add outer glow, and hit OK. Move that to the back. And on the Mac, a shortcut to move stuff uh, back a couple layers or layers, you hold Command and push. I don't even know the name of it. Never mind on that. I think it's the open quotation marks. Then you hold command and the open quotation marks and the close quotation marks. And then that'll move your layer back and forth. Sorry about that. Shrink everything down so it fits right. And then we're gonna go grab a, another uh, Let's get another text, and then we're gonna write Jackson in a nice cursor font. And then we're gonna add that on top of the Michael at the top. Bring that up. Make that a little smaller. So we gotta make this pop off because it's different colors. So let's make this white. We're going to add a drop shadow. Now that we got the black drop shadow that makes the black pants so you can, it really pops off. So now y'all see it's coming to life. 
and then make this a little smaller. We can need this for real. So, yeah, we just take the hands off. We don't need them. And then we're gonna, uh, what else can I add? Let's type in, oh, we can get another picture of Michael. This one. Nope. If the clarity is not right, we can't use them. Let's. Get this one. Let's try this. So we drag and drop. Grab this one, bring it over to our workspace. It's gonna kind of freak it out. Okay, you can change, double click on it, change it any color you want. Let's make it match. Yeah, like that. And so, we got a legend down here. So, we're gonna get another text. Type in rest in paradise to the, and then it's going to say legend at the bottom. Check, check. Check it down. It's all about where you're positioning and how you want stuff to look. And if you got a little space to squeeze stuff in to make everything flow, that's usually what I do. Everything don't have to be super big. And nine times out of 10, once you print this out, it will be big, bigger than it looks on here. Add a drop shadow, make it pop out. And then we're gonna add a stroke. See how that looks. So now we got everything. Double click on this one. I'm holding shift right now. I clicked on that layer, rest in peace, and I'm gonna click on a legend layer and I'm gonna make both of them bigger. Boom. Now check. Then we're gonna get this MJ. Sorry about that. Click on the MJ. Lock this layer so it don't move and just grab him. Yeah, that looks like kind of like a logo now. And now you have it. Michael Jackson rest in peace shirt. Or any recipe that you do, you can just add a different picture right there, but that's how you make it real, real fast. Thank you.